Hey everyone, uh, welcome again and today I'm going to show you the demonstration of uh, another application that is the backend and where we are using REST API. So it's cab booking uh, project in Spring Boot and JPA and we are going to create uh, APIs, REST APIs and that will run over the Postman and for the backend to create the API we are using Spring Boot and it's connected through the JPA uh, for with the database and it's using MySQL as a backend database. So what are the detailed tools and technology will be there also uh, in the description box of this video you will get this link so you can directly go there and you can read out about the complete requirements about the application what are the tools and technologies are, are there what is the abstract of a project and then what are the uh, number of APIs and what a kind of APIs will be there what are the API validation that we're using there and what is the payload also I'm going to demonstrate everything here so you can you will be easily understand how can uh, we uh, send the request from the apis and get response from the backend so there will be some common apis to create a post uh, like re registration process for the driver and uh, for the user registration also uh, it's using jwt authentication so it means whenever uh, we are going to log into the application and we can create a token and after that you can access these apis these are the backend apis so you can uh, accept these apis after the authentication only so i will show you the things so you can just read out it and so you will get all the understanding about the number of apis and the details and that we that, that we are using the complete description is there over the about the project so let's move to the id and here under the like uh, let's talk about the technical part of the project here so we are using a spring boot uh, to create the apis and uh, here is a folder structure api this is the application uh, runner file uh, we have a configuration thing here so whatever the application configuration we are using for the jw that authentication is being security so the configuration file will be there uh, this is the controller part entities are there exceptions model repositories services and the utilities and it's deployed over the java 11 version and it's a maven project so we are managing the maven dependencies over there and to deploy the application we are using tomcat server that is inbuilt version and it's running over the eclipse currently and also you can use the sts tool and to pass the apis to operate the apis we are using the postman here and after that we have a mysql database uh, to manage the database to store the information actually so this is our database and under the database we have a user table and okay close all yeah close all so i'm going to view the data of this user table so these are the user and uh, cap booking and the cap table that it will be helpful to communicate with the backend data so now i will going to demonstrate how can you run it and how can you pass the apis and and will uh, i'm going to stop the server right now it's running so i just rerun the server so to run the project again just right click over there and the application file go to run as and select the option as java application so i'm going to start the server and after that under the properties file i have a context path is api so we need to pass that context path from the url so how can we create the url of this application i will show you uh, right now like, let, let, uh, you can see here we have an error while i'm running the project it says 9091 port number is already used so how can we solve this problem so just go there and change the port number as a 9092 or anything so i just uh, like uh, just change it and save it automatically server will restart and we'll check this port number is available yes the post number is available and it's running over the 9092 so how can you create the uh, url over there so this is your port number and it's running over obviously on the local host and this is your context path so when you move there um for uh, like uh, on postman i'm going to close all the tabs now don't save don't save okay so first i will give you the first api demonstration which is a registration api so if you can see here we are creating localhost http um columns double slash localhost column 9091 is my port number api is my context mark and this is the api call so this is the endpoint 
So uh, if I move there and under my controller, we are managing all the APIs. So this will be related to the user. So it will come under the user controller. So you can see here, here also we are using this controller annotation. And uh, this is my API path. So I'm going to use it as an endpoint. And I just need to enter the URL here. And this is a post method. So I'm going to select a post request. And this is my body part. So under the body, we are passing the data into the form of JSON. So uh, this, it, can, it contains first name, last name, whatever the required fields will be there. So that's where we store the data here. So I'm going to send the query, but let's see, it will give me some error. I could not uh, send a request and this connection is not available. So now the error is the port number we have just said it's 9092, but we are trying to access the 9091. So I just changed the port number send the request again now you can see the record is inserted and it's giving me a back response as a same data so it assigned the id 10 where we are not passing the id from here so i just refresh my user table and i can see the 10th record is available but now what happen if i register with the same detail it will give me an error this is the validation that we are using in this api so let's give me error username is already exists so if i change the username and some random name and some other name and if i send the request it will give me a response it means the data is inserted again so i just refresh the table and i can see the record here now next thing um let's suppose i need to create get uh, i need the list of the users that is available in our project which is a cab booking so uh, whatever the user is registered so i need all the details so for that we have created a get api under this get api we are running uh, the same i just need to change the port number and here we have a user api as a an endpoint and let's run it directly first so when i try to access it it will give me unauthorized so it means i'm not able like 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 this should we come after the login only so what can I do for that? We are using JWT token, secure, Spring Security to generate the token. So uh, here we have created a token API that's called login and get authentication key. So let's suppose I want to log in as an admin. So what uh, things that I have to need to send to my backend server, which is a post uh, request and the authentication to token URI and under the body, we are passing the username and the password. So if you notice into the database, uh, we have an admin user we have a driver user and uh, we have a, a simple user or customer you can say so we, i'm i'm going currently i'm trying to log in as an uh, admin uh, so this is my admin as my last name so where's the username okay username is admin and the password is admin. so i'm passing the same data here and when i send the send request it will say it's uh, okay i need to change the port number so just change it okay i when when i send the request it generate a token and it give to me now i will copy this token and i'm going to add that token here for to get the detail of the users so uh to to add that i just select a barrier token and this is my token input so i just enter the input now last time the request response was unauthorized so i'm going to click on send now it's giving me detail of the all the users that is available into the database and it's in the form of json object okay now uh, again if i need to update the uh, update any user uh, let's suppose i need to update the user so we have a different apis to update the user that is called update user as an endpoint this is obviously this will be a pull request so when i click on the same and uh, here into the body i need to pass the data that i want to update so let's suppose i want to update the data number 11 i just want to change the name of that user so i just need to pass the id and other details that i want to update uh, let's suppose i want to update in this user so if i go there I just need to change the username and let's suppose this customer i'm going to add some extra hours okay again i need to change the port number and it's again unauthorized so also i need to give it a token so i'm just going to give it a token another token so i'm going to demonstrating this because uh, if you are going to operate it you just need to keep in mind you need to do these things these operations when you are using this application so okay when i just uh, pass that user 
as a user number 11 i need to update it user so it's giving me the response of this and the record is updated into the database as well if i refresh the table and check the 11 number user now it's customer as a triple r the user okay now the next api so like this you can access this api so we have another api to create it to delete the user so again i need to pass a correct authentication key and from here and then i just need to pass an id of that user uh, which user i want to delete let's suppose i want to delete the user number 11 so i just send the key a response and it's give me a, a error so i just update the api click on send now you can see uh, the data is updated uh, sorry data is deleted uh, for that user so last record is with and id 10 if i refresh the database table it will delete the that uh, record from the database similarly then another module of the application is a brand so uh, what is a brand so we need to uh, add some brand and under those brand we are going to add some caps so now we to add the brand we have a post api uh, to add the brand it will work similarly again it will ask for the authentication key so it just you need to create the authentic authentication to first time and then you can use it throughout all the apis as per the users so we have a brand uh, get brand list so here also uh, we can get the list of all the brands and update brands, delete brands, and add new cave. If I'm going to add a new cave, uh, I can uh, pass this API and get up get the cave detail. This is going to use to get the list of all the caves that is available into the backend. If as admin I want to update any cave, if I want to delete any cave, uh, if I want to book any cave as a customer, so this is going to this API is going to buy. Uh, used by the customer so customer going to book the cave so we need to insert some details and we are going to pass this send request it will give us a response as a booking and update the cave bookings get the cave booking de detail and in case i need to delete a cave booking and get cave booking by a user so it means we are using some filtration here so uh, let's suppose a uh, user number a particular user going to book a cave and then i need to check the uh, uh booking details of uh, user so we can call this we just need to pass the user id and uh, uh, another thing we have a use info user information this is for the my profile view something so we are where we are getting the information of the user so these are the uh all the apis and the backend is developed here and under this we are using proper validations over there so and uh, these are the different uh, different apis calling that we are using we are following the try case thing so to handle the responses so if i go there and uh, under the service section we are using all the validations and all the required proper if, if, if there is any record is not available we are uh, sharing the record not found exception so this is a complete code and in case you need the source code you can contact us over the mail over the whatsapp and over the skype so our team will be available to uh, provide the source code and they will have a remote support as well so don't worry how can uh, you need to set up these things they will have a complete remote support so they will connect you by any remote software like uh, um, some, some 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 internal softwares are there so you by that they will take a uh, remote access of your machine they will do the setup and they will explain all the things if required there are multiple services so you can just go there and check the link in the description box connect and they will share all the working details so you can go through with it and in case you need the source code you can please contact them